Shalom, family. This is Brother Colby. The good Lord this morning has given me a short dream, and I didn't understand it, and I sent it off to my buddy Justin Overton. And he used the Bible to interpret it, and he got back with me. And what he told me, I, I didn't know if I should share it with y'all. Uh, my small circle, sometimes I keep dreams just there. And I didn't want this dream to, I didn't know whether I should post it. I didn't want anyone to think that I'm trying to promote myself or puff myself up by no means whatsoever. That's not my intentions. But being that we're all starting to see the same things, and there's been so many confirmations, and I believe there's a warning I feel I must share this with you. The Lord is speaking loud and clear this hour, especially on this topic and the previous topic. The previous topic, God was showing my small circle that he's going to send a false spirit upon the earth. You're going to be seeing revivals and all these miracles and do not assume it's of God. You must discern. This, this is the great deception the scriptures talk about that could even see the very elect if possible. That's the deception, this false spirit. So you must discern this hour. That was so many confirmation the previous weeks on, on that one particular topic, guys. But this topic is different. And we're all starting to see it. Uh, so, guys, I, I'm not racist. I, I, I love people and their mama. I love cultures. I love, I'm amazed, you know, some cultures have good things. Some of it not so good. You, you know, that's just, it is what it is. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that, because in my dream, I, I dreamed I owned a Mexican restaurant. Guys, I love the Mexican people. I love the food. I love the culture. I like it's family oriented. I like how they, uh, how husband and wife, how they dance. It is very romantic and I'm not so, too sure about the, the music, but I, I admire these people. And I believe, you know, I can learn something from them, you know. So in this dream, I dreamed I owned a Mexican restaurant. And somehow, that only my restaurant in the whole town was the only one with food. And that was the end of the dream, people. I didn't understand it. I sent it to Justin. Justin got back with me. He said, food is the word of God. It's the manna. I'm like, okay. But why was I the only one? Why nobody else had any food? Excuse me. So he goes back to sleep. And later on, he gets back with me. And he sends me a text. I'm like, dude, read Ezekiel chapter 34. And I'm like, because he heard it in the spirit while he was waking up. He said, Ezekiel chapter 34. And I started reading and my mouth dropped. And before I get into that, my other buddy this week, I ain't going to say his name, had a dream that I helped interpret it. And I sent it to Justin and he interpreted the very same thing. Basically, the dream was the church isn't being the church. They're not doing its job. And that's what Ezekiel chapter 34 is about. The shepherds are not doing their job. If you are a pastor and you're not teaching the whole word of God, God's going to silence you. You've been warned. So that's what God's been showing my little small circle. These pastors ain't doing their job. The watchmen ain't doing their job. And it's going to be some changes. Okay. Um, be real with you. Uh, I came out these uh, these churches uh, since February. It just something wasn't feeling right with me. In all these different churches, it just it seemed like they was going away from God. And I just never felt in like I belonged to any place. I, I love to serve the Lord. I, I was part of children ministry. I was about to be in the security team for this one church. I, I mean, I, I want to. But it was like something wasn't right. And I had to leave, guys. And I get a lot of people that tell me, like, Kobe, you you backslid. You, you, you're not going to church. Uh, forsake not the assembly. They like to, to tell me. And I tell them, I go straight to the Lord. If the church goes away from the Lord, I'm going with the Lord, guys. I'm not going with the church. I'm going with the Lord. You can go that way if you want, but I'm going straight to the Lord. Yeah. Guys, 
the Lord showed me about the 501c3 and my research and how they become a personal business. I, is all of them bad? I don't know. But I'm seeing the programs, the Tony Evans, the uh, the Daily Driven Purpose of Life, the All Moment, and all these different programs and, uh, and their own agendas. And it's like a country club and, and the sheep are starving. These preachers ain't doing their job. And that's between them and the Lord, you know. So, yes, I've come out of them. And there's other people the Lord is bringing in my circle or saying that they're having the same problem, that they can't go to a church. They don't fit in nowhere. They don't. The, the church is going away from what they were supposed to be doing. <sighs> Guys, I love you. Please take this to the Lord in prayer. Okay. Shalom.